People have always been fascinated by history, and the tombs of important historical figures are especially captivating. These tombs are more than just resting places. They are time capsules that can teach us about past civilizations. Although many ancient tombs have been discovered, many remain lost. The search for these lost tombs is driven by curiosity, scientific inquiry, and the potential for groundbreaking discoveries. Recent discoveries in Egypt serve as a reminder that significant breakthroughs can occur, potentially changing our understanding of ancient history. Alexander III of Macedon, commonly known as Alexander the Great, was a king of the ancient Greek kingdom of Macedon. By the age of 30, he had created one of the largest empires in history, stretching from Greece and Egypt to what is now Afghanistan and northern India. His military genius and the subsequent Hellenistic period he ushered in left an indelible mark on Western and Eastern cultures. Upon his death in Babylon in 323 BC, Alexander's body was preserved in honey and transported to Egypt. Initially, he was buried in Memphis, but his remains were later moved to Alexandria, the city he founded, and placed in two subsequent tombs. However, Alexandria suffered significant destruction in the 4th and 5th centuries AD, leading to the complete loss of the location of his final resting place. The tomb of Alexander the Great remains one of the most sought-after archaeological discoveries in the world. Various theories and ongoing, albeit often sporadic, expeditions have attempted to pinpoint its location. Some researchers believe the tomb may lie underwater off the coast of modern Alexandria, a consequence of earthquakes and rising sea levels over the centuries. The significance of finding Alexander's tomb cannot be overstated, as it would provide unparalleled insights into the life and death of one of history's most influential figures and potentially yield a wealth of artifacts from the Hellenistic period. The consistent appearance of Alexander the Great's tomb at the top of Lost Tomb lists highlights its enduring historical significance and the sustained high level of scientific interest in its rediscovery. The deliberate movement of his body from Memphis to Alexandria suggests a conscious effort to create a grand and accessible final resting place befitting his stature, making its subsequent disappearance particularly significant. Temujin, posthumously known as Genghis Khan, was the founder and great Khan of the Mongol Empire, which became the largest contiguous empire in history after his death in 1227 AD. His military campaigns and the empire he forged had a profound impact on the geopolitical landscape of Eurasia. The burial of Genghis Khan is shrouded in secrecy and legend. It is said that his funeral procession killed anyone who crossed their path to conceal the location of his tomb, and upon arrival at the chosen site, those who performed the burial were also killed to ensure the secret remained. This deliberate effort to conceal his final resting place has made it incredibly difficult for archaeologists to locate. While various regions in Mongolia have been proposed, the Ordos region of northern China is currently considered a likely candidate by many researchers. The search for Genghis Khan's tomb continues to be a challenging endeavor, hampered by the vastness of the potential search area and the lack of definitive clues. Archaeological expeditions have been conducted, but the strict secrecy surrounding his burial has meant that no conclusive evidence has yet been found. The immense power wielded by Genghis Khan and the desire to protect his legacy are reflected in the elaborate measures taken to conceal his burial, adding a significant element of intrigue to the ongoing search. The prevailing theory pointing to the Ordos region provides a geographical focus for investigation although the sheer size of this area still presents a considerable obstacle to targeted searches. Cleopatra VII, Philopater, was the last active ruler of the Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt, known for her intelligence, political acumen, and relationships with Julius Caesar and later Mark Antony. Mark Antony was a Roman general and politician who played a significant role in the transformation of the Roman Republic into the Roman Empire. Their alliance and subsequent defeat by Octavian marked the end of the Ptolemaic dynasty and a pivotal moment in Roman history. Following their defeat at the Battle of Actium in 31 BC, Antony and Cleopatra both died by suicide in Alexandria in 30 BC. Historical accounts suggest they were buried together in a grand tomb in or near Alexandria. However, 
Centuries of earthquakes, tsunamis, and the subsequent development of the city have obscured the location of their final resting place. The search for the tomb of Cleopatra and Mark Antony has gained significant momentum in recent years, particularly with the ongoing excavations at Tapasiris Magna, approximately 25 miles west of Alexandria. Led by Dominican archaeologist Kathleen Martinez, this site has yielded intriguing discoveries, including coins bearing their images, statues, and a network of tunnels. Martinez theorizes that their tomb may lie hidden beneath the temple ruins at Tapasiris Magna, which was dedicated to the goddess Isis, whom Cleopatra identified with. While some experts remain skeptical, the consistent findings at this site, including a recently discovered long tunnel potentially used to transport bodies, underscore the significant current scientific interest in this location as the potential resting place of the famous royal couple. The discovery of coins featuring Cleopatra and Antony at Taposiris Magna provides compelling circumstantial evidence linking the site to their era, even if it doesn't definitively confirm it as their tomb. However, the differing opinions among experts regarding the interpretation of the findings highlight the ongoing debate and the need for further conclusive evidence. Attila was the leaders of the Huns, a nomadic people who invaded Eastern and Central Europe in the 5th century AD, forming a powerful empire. Feared by both the Eastern and Western Roman empires, his military campaigns posed a significant threat to the stability of the late Roman period. Attila died in 453 AD, reportedly on his wedding night. Legend has it that he was buried in a secret location with a vast treasure of gold, silver, and other valuable artifacts. To ensure the secrecy of his tomb, it is said that the servants who buried him were killed. The most likely location for his burial is believed to be somewhere in Hungary, the heart of his empire. The search for Attila's tomb is largely based on historical accounts and folklore, as there are no clear archaeological leads. The legendary nature of his burial involving immense wealth and the execution of the burial party, contributes to the enduring mystery and the extreme difficulty in pinpointing its location. While Hungary is the generally accepted region for his burial, the lack of specific clues means that finding his tomb would likely require a significant breakthrough or an accidental discovery. Nefertiti was a great royal wife of the Egyptian pharaoh Akhenaten during the 18th dynasty 1370 to 1330 BC. She was a powerful and influential queen, and her iconic painted bust has made her one of the most recognizable figures from ancient Egypt. She played a significant role in the religious and cultural upheaval initiated by Akhenaten, who promoted the worship of the sun god, Aten. Despite her prominence and the discovery of numerous depictions of her, the royal tomb and mummy of Nefertiti have never been definitively identified. Theories abound regarding her final resting place, with some suggesting she might be buried in the Valley of the Kings, possibly within a hidden chamber of an existing tomb, or perhaps in Akhenaten's capital city of Akhitaten, modern Amarna. The search for Nefertiti's tomb has been ongoing for decades, with various expeditions and research projects focusing on potential locations in the Valley of the Kings and Amarna. Recent technological advancements, such as ground-penetrating radar, have been employed to scan for hidden chambers within existing tombs. The discovery of Nefertiti's tomb would be a monumental event, providing invaluable insights into the Amarna period and the life of this enigmatic queen. Her significant role during a transformative period of Egyptian history, marked by radical religious reforms, makes the discovery of her tomb highly desirable for a deeper understanding of the 18th dynasty. The fact that her tomb remains undiscovered despite extensive exploration in areas associated with the 18th dynasty, underscores the challenges of archaeological work in the Valley of the Kings and other key sites. The quest for lost tombs continues to be a driving force in archaeological research, fueled by the enduring human fascination with history and the lives of those who came before us. The tombs highlighted in this report, from the grand aspirations of Alexander the Great to the hidden secrets of Genghis Khan, 
and the enigmatic burials of Egyptian royalty represent some of the most compelling unsolved mysteries of the past. The recent discoveries in Egypt in early 2025 serve as an inspiring reminder that significant breakthroughs are still possible, even in well-studied regions. The application of new technologies, combined with meticulous traditional archaeological methods and persistent dedication, holds the key to potentially unlocking more of these historical secrets. As we move forward, the anticipation remains high that future archaeological endeavors will lead to the rediscovery of more lost tombs, further enriching our understanding of the intricate tapestry of human history.